next segment, and I'm going to open this up. This is not an ad, but it might feel like an ad. <laughs> it's a product that. that we got recently that I, myself, and a lot of people in the studio have been thoroughly enjoying. It's the new Linus Precision Screwdriver. Have you guys, you guys have all played with this, right? I played with the spinny yes. part. Okay. Yeah, that's it. What a bearing. The, <laughs> the LTT team sent us over a few of these, and I can't believe how impressed I am by how, how much this it little screwdriver. I've never used it to screw anything in, but as a fidget toy, <laughs> yeah. it is impeccable. It's it is. They put a ball bear uh, to explain to audio listeners. It is a small screwdriver, very similar to the iFixit kit. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, Small precision screwdriver for smaller, you know. Precision tasks. Precision tasks that are unlike what the regular line of screwdriver is, which I also use. and I It's also very big. Like a lot. Yeah. Um, but not normally in these small precision screwdrivers do you have a bit compartment for it when you pull up the top. Yeah. But what they did specifically that is fantastic with this thing is they put a ball bearing in the little top that has their logo on it, and this sucker rips. It does. Let it rip, Andrew. You hear that? In and the, it will do that for about three minutes. I think at least 60 seconds. Like, yeah. Longer really, than that. Really solid. Let's just all sit here and wait 60 seconds while this goes. Okay. And he has it at an angle. So it would actually go longer if he had it straight up. I it was, wasn't working against gravity. I do that. Yeah. Because yeah. it's because it's the bearing and it is trying to do that. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's why we <laughs> like the screwdriver. <laughs> just still disagree. This is, also, I just want to say, for every competition we've had in here of who can spin it the longest, I've won every time. Just saying. Really? Is that why yes. you like it so much? <laughs> Wait, but Marquez Maybe. can rip a frizz, so he might be able to <laughs> do it even harder. I mean, okay, I'll just do a really quick breakdown of what this is. For $30, you get... Oh, it's it's $30? That's I it? No, 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 hold on. Screwdriver no. Was... It is $30 for just the screwdriver Oh. with no bits. The reason they did that is because, from what I heard, they match the bits with the iFixit kit. To like fit pit perfectly because they've already, you know, partnered with iFixit a bunch. It's a hexagon, right? Uh, I'm yep. buying one right now. There is something not very, an ad. There's something very specific that they mentioned with how the bits fit, whereas like magnet, some maybe. screwdrivers measure the inside to the standard where they measure the opening to the standard, where some the bits are measured to the standard. So if you have one of one and one of the other, it won't fit because they'll be the same size. One has to be bigger, one has to be smaller. And I think iFixits are a little different, so they actually match theirs to fit with iFixit. So if you have an iFixit kit already, because a lot of uh, LTT fans have an iFixit kit. Because it was sponsored. Kit, yeah, they've been sponsored by them Yep, you can, for $30, buy this, and it can replace your iFixit screwdriver <laughs> because this does garbage. not spit any... This is a great screwdriver. Is that like the still, only difference? Is it that just it doesn't, doesn't spin, spin as well, and it doesn't have the compartment on the inside. Oh, yeah. They also did a great job with the compartment because it has this very nice mechanism to where it just actuates and goes down it's, it's never pretty like cool. stuck halfway through yeah. if you have the uh, okay say that again well if you have the fix the kit thing you you're just buying the new screwdriver you for the mechanism. you're just buying this there. and the fidget yeah. toy you can put them yeah. in there but if you're like taking it somewhere you can put a couple yeah. inside you keep your favorites you. yeah or you know, if it's you, like your bookmarks if you only yeah. use five or six you can keep just basically that in your drawer if i were doing this i would yeah. probably keep the standard ones that i use for like all my computer builds up here so i don't have to remember each time because is it they're ratcheting? so minuscule no uh, i don't believe so oh no it's not ratcheting mm, non-ratcheting screwdriver um, i'm a i'm a fanboy for the og linus tick tip screwdriver tick -tip that's screwdriver. the one it is a really great screwdriver. i that was i have that one that ratchets. it ratchets it yeah. has a little bit compartment it doesn't spin but no. it's pretty good yeah it does yeah, yeah. uh a lot of people also recommend an electric screwdriver. On, yeah, uh, uh, there's a very Amazon. specific one all the keyboard people an use. Magic stick, I think, or something. <laughs> so is this like somewhere in between like a drill and a yes. Yes, analog screwdriver? Analog? Wow stick. Wow stick. Wow is stick. a very popular one in the an keyboard. Acoustic world. <laughs> <laughs> an analog <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> an acoustic. Um, but so thirty dollars for the screwdriver, fifty dollars for the case with sixty bits. Damn. In terms of comparisons to iFixit, this kit from iFixit with sixty four bits is sixty four bit. Sixty four bit. Nice. Is forty dollars, but it does also come with arguably the best tool in all of these, which oh, is the, the like one hundred and fifty millimeter um, bending. It's good for extender. Computers, yeah. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Um, but I think it's super well priced. Uh, the case is great. The whole build quality is great. Linus does a great job with all their stuff. So, Orange. Um, 
It's orange. It's orange. Well, it's like a red amp. For like a paying red. an extra ten bucks because it's like a creator that you like and you're supporting them, I think is a super fair creator tax if you want to say that. But I'm sure this was not well, cheap. The ball to build. bearing too is nice. The ball bearing is so nice. I think there's different tops you can buy as well. Oh really? Anyways, I'll end it here because I just feel like I'm like you they should have paid us like, so they hard. Yeah, us like my a lot my of LTT money. affiliate code is. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. No, Highly I, suggest I it. Do. Ellis, I'm sure we'll try it. And yeah. I, I think I want it. Like, we know a product is good when m- people come to our like middle table where we open things and like play with the new product. Th- these have been spun by every member in this studio multiple times yeah. and they've been stolen to desks um, <laughs> more often than I can count. And you just hear people spinning them all day. So <laughs> great job, LTT team. Yeah, what happened to fidget spinner? I'm gonna buy a fidget spinner. No, buy buy this instead. We yeah, have three of them. Bring them back. Fidget spinner. Yeah, they still sell them. Do you know what I saw interesting with a fidget spinner the other day? There's this really great um, creator, Grace Wells. She does like um, product videography, like kind of like really good advertising stuff. But she did it on TikTok, where it'd be like, "I would buy X from you," and then we'll do like a whole close-up macro, kind of like our intros ads on like a coconut or like something like a wall outlet. Mm-hmm. Um, and the way she does a lot of the spinning shots is she just puts it on top of a fidget spinner and spins it on a table. Oh, like wow. as is lazy Susan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's smart. I thought it was really smart. Because the ball bearing is so amazing in a fidget spinner. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Uh, if you've gotten to the end and you're watching this clip after the year 2030, then that means they've gotten to the the part where the subscribe button jumps out of the page into your room in VR and you actually have to find it, chase it, and hug it to subscribe. So make sure you do that. Uh, but if you watch this before 2030, then I think all you have to do is click click it with your mouse or whatever. I thought it was smash down. it. Is that an analog device that you use? I don't, I don't to... really know. I think in 2024, whenever this Either. is uploaded, they use like a clicker thing and they have to like click a button or something. A clicker. Yeah. Moose? And then it like plays like a little 2D animation or something. Mm, something like 2D. that. But yeah, obviously in 2030, like just give it a nice hug. Yeah. I could, oh, hu- yeah. I could hug a subscribe button. Yeah. Adam, what sound does it make when you hu- when you hug it again? That's right. <laughs> <laughs>